Hello everybody, my name is Penta Hybrid and welcome to another Indie Grab Bag. Today we're gonna to be looking at a game called Blazing Beaks. Came out May 10th, 2019, and it was an early access for quite a long period before then. You might be asking Penta, why the heck are you only checking this out now? Look, guys, the backlog of indie games that I have from myself, updates, in the devs giving me codes sometimes things get lost in the shuffle sometimes get things get thrown on the back burner and forgotten about for a long time or i intend to get to them and then just life gets in the way you know the whole world is on fire right now i don't know it's i doubt we we get to it eventually and we're here now blazing beaks i don't know why i'm on the quit option blazing beaks by app lava I don't know how much the game is because I currently cannot scroll down in my Steam and if I alt tab it breaks things. Note to devs, please allow borderless window in your games, borderless full screen, just borderless in general so that we can move our mouse and I'm not going to install mouse without borders just for one game. Anyway, Blazing Beaks on Steam by App Lava Roguelite about ducks, basically if you can think about Nuclear Throne, except ducks. We're just gonna check it out, we're just gonna check it out. I played it on stream during an indie grab bag, but we didn't get a whole lot into it. As you can see, multiple different characters, it is extremely loud. So in fact, I am going to Alt-Tab, which breaks things. But I have to Alt-Tab so that I can turn the volume down just a slutch. I don't know what a slutch is, but the game is... Hey, 50% off right now for the next seven days. This video should be up by then. May 18th. Right now it is half off. For the next, until May 18th, it is currently half off. But yeah, we, we, we can see multiple characters to unlock. Uh, and you can, I'm just gonna play on controller because I don't remember the keyboard controls. And I, I don't feel like messing with anything. But anyway, you can see there's multiple different characters. Many to unlock as well. Uh, they are all different, different HP values, different weapons, different abilities. So like this guy kills marked enemies in one shot, but he shoots very poorly while he's running and has an 80% higher range. Platypus is pretty good. I like the platypus quite a bit. He's like the he's like the glass cannon of the 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 crew. He starts with low HP, but he gets more loot and has a key on start. But we're gonna play as the duck. Standard boy duck. Main character duck. So the main mechanic, as it were, you might be asking, well, Pento, what makes this game stand out from the rest of the roguelite games around the rest of the world? The thing that makes this one stand out from the pack, outside of the fact that it is just about as hard as the rest of them, is Blazing Beaks is based on getting curses. So, in an Isaac, a nuclear- well, maybe not even a nuclear throne, because nuclear throne doesn't have abilities. That's probably my favorite part about nuclear throne compared to some of the other ones, but we're not talking about nuclear throne. Uh, if you think about Isaac, Gungeon, uh, any of the- any- think of a roguelite that's out right now. Uh, a round guard, anything, just think of a roguelite. Uh, you you gather items or powerful upgrades throughout the run to kind of make yourself, uh, your stats you can see on the left here, you, you, you gather abilities to make yourself stronger, more powerful, higher chance, uh, you increase your chance of winning. In Blazing Beaks, it's kind of the same, except during your runs, during a room, you actually gather negative abilities. You gather curses as I've started to call them, because I, I don't actually know the canonical name of them, but you gather pretty much curses throughout your run. And upon... We, we don't start with a key on this guy, we start with a key on the platypus, but you, you... Once you finish a stage and make it to a store, you trade in those curses for, possi for positive effects. So it basically... To put it in a understandable terminology, you basically get negative abilities during the run that you can then trade into powerful abilities to help you throughout the rest of your run. This dude's actually just a key monster. 
That dude's actually just a chemo. Oh my! Okay, there's frogs. I can't tell how loud this is. It seems still extremely loud. Cry to admit, thing that I don't like about the game number two. You cannot adjust the volume or option settings while in a run. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. That is probably my maj major cry to my major criticism. I think that's actually a store, but you don't have any ability, so I'm just gonna go fight the boss, I think. We have not gotten a single item. This is the new- I've, I've seen him, he's pretty much the boss every single time from what I understand. I haven't seen another first floor boss. Uh, he just basically... Spits out dudes. Sticks his tongue out while his tongue is vulnerable, you hit him. You gotta try and get him to hit the spiky thing, though. We should be good here. Ooh, okay. That ain't that bad. Okay, so we get plus two max HP, a cooked plump plant, plus two max HP, poisoned spearhead, Ability to be invisible for 3 seconds, cool down to 20 seconds. Ooh, okay, so it gets rid of our dash attack, though. I don't know if I'm gonna use my dash attack. I'm just gonna take the teddy, man, I think. Cool down to 20 seconds is kinda killer. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna take what I got, I think. Oh, oh, okay. He's he's uh he's exploding. And... Yo, that guy's got some health. The hedges can be broken. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're doing here, Blazing Beaks. I see what you're on about. Let's go in here. This should be the store where we can actually trade stuff. So this guy will turn. How do I? He'll turn. Then reduces reload speed and fire rate by 40%. So this is what we actually trade in. So items are positive effects. Artifacts are your negative effects that you collect during the run. So if I go to him, actually trade that spearhead that gave us a negative effect for transdimensional pizza. Minus one max HP, but restores all... Oh, it's weapon damage. Absolutely. Refills your HP, and if you already have full HP, adds one max HP. Dude, that's a plus max HP. Random weapon. Shotgun, plasma gun. But this guy trades your negative effects into positive effects. So we just got a little bit stronger. Plus one max HP. And weapon damage. And we can buy a shotgun. Plasma gun. Or random gun. I'm going to take the plasma gun. Let's check out what this boy does. Can't be that bad. We just got a weapon, we just got a damage upgrade. Range is significantly better. Range is significantly better than our last weapon. Invisible key? Hold on. We gotta figure out what this, what's this? You lose two coins for every damage you take. No locked or secret doors affected from the next level. Okay, so we gotta- we gotta trade those out pretty quickly. This guy had a- a talk bubble above him. Can you talk to enemies in this game? Because I do have a talk bubble above his head. Interesting. I also saw that statue down there. I'm not sure if that was a... ...a thing or not, you know? Oh, okay. Yep. Avoid their bodies. Oh, good lord. Okay, we cannot. We cannot get hit like that. We lose money every time we get hit, which is very bad.
Yeah, these guys got health bu or uh, talk bubbles above them. So I'm not sure if that's entirely something that I can interact with. I'm not sure. Broken lock. 70% chance to break on trying to a key on trying to use the key. Okay, that's that's exciting. We gotta get rid of that right away. Chance to lose a coin or a key every time you enter the next level. Jesus. Okay, we gotta gotta find that shop. Gotta find that shop pretty quick here. Obviously, you have a choice to grab these things or not, but who wouldn't take them? Come on. Who's the guy who's gonna pass up potential good stuff? On taking damage, max HP is removed? That is insanity. But I've never been more in. That's ridiculously cool. Like, not cool in a good way, but cool in a, like, risk-reward kind of dealio, you know? There is a shop there, I think. I don't know what the statue does. It spawned a ghost. Okay. That ghost ain't happy with me. So if I take damage, I lose max HP. Oh, he's still alive. I didn't even see you, bud. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Go to the shop. <laughs> How many bad items? We got five bad items. <laughs> Does he trade all of them in, I wonder? It's a graveyard shop. Does he trade all of them in? For five items, or is the more you give him the increase the rarity of the item? Medal of Honor. I wonder if there's a rarity system in these, anyway. 25% chance to drop a heart when you take damage. The bucket. Bosses drop more loot if players do not lose HP, so flawless win. Duck Scout Badge. Increase your run speed. Dude! Max HP! I'm absolutely in. And I do like this weapon, but for the sake of a first look kind of video, I am going to switch weapons. Uh, it turns out we have... Like a black hole gun? Some kind of dealio, I think? Oh yeah, this is... Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is the shit here. Lower damage, but extremely cool. Newt's Tongue does not allow you to pick up any artifacts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, let, that's gotta be worth something. That's like a... If you take this, you're going to be rewarded handsomely, but you're going to have to miss out on everything else you could get. So hopefully I'm right on that. Hopefully I end up getting paid handsomely for that. <laughs> and I don't just miss out on a bunch of items. Oh my god, okay, this is... It's getting, it's getting to that point now. This weapon was a good, fun choice, but I don't think it's got the... The oomph that I was that I had from my previous weapon, not at all. I also think I turned the game down, game volume down too quiet. That or things just got quieter. I don't know. Maybe this game, maybe this world's track is quieter. It feels like it's quieter now, which could just come down to audio balancing. I'm not entirely sure. Remember, we can't actually pick anything else up. Which might actually just make it so things don't spawn. I'm not entirely sure. We gotta fight the boss. Unfortunately. Bogey. I'm also noticing that there is no map system. So this dude's just shooting bones at me. And he's gonna do a rolly boy. I gotcha. Gertie Jr. up in this bitch. Let's go. How much does he roll? Five times? If I flawless the boss, we get more rewards. So I'm going to be trying to flawless every single boss I can. Alright. Okay, he's not tough. 
Like really the patterns on this one is super easy. This one's might this one might actually be easier than the frog. Unless he adds to his uh Oh, okay. Yeah, don't stand parallel, because now we lost out on that uh, the free loot. Lost out on the free loot, but hey. Still alive. Don't don't stand parallel to him. You're gonna die. Ooh. I I hit the- maybe it was still on cooldown? I thought I hit left trigger to dash downwards, but I think it might have still been on cooldown. Well, I don't want to do another run and end up with a half hour, but you know what, let's do... Let's do... Let's do a run... As the chicken real quick. Because the chicken's pretty dope. Or should we play as... Let's play as the platypus. I think this is my favorite character. I always enjoy characters that are, like, high risk, high reward. Like, this dude's good range, good damage, offensive potency, but he dies very quickly. And the fact that he starts with a key is huge as well. So we're gonna really need some of those HP ups we got on that last run. Hopefully I didn't make the game too quiet. Okay, it's that shuriken again. That thing's the... Thing that I lose max HP again. That's really, really dangerous with this boy. You know what these like these these uh, yogurt guys are making me feel about, or these uh, turnip boys? Those little like the 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 orange dudes. They're really making me realize. Oh my god! I did not even see that bullet there. Realize just how excited I am for the Atomic Crops full release, which is coming soon. Uh, how do I... There we go. That's the first time I ever saw that. That isn't like a, ooh, I knew that was gonna be there. That's the first time I ever saw a secret room in this game. I don't know what I just grabbed. Ability to lay a spawner's egg? Nah, 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 I'm sorry, but the, like, the dash is just too- in a game like this, the dash is super cool. Basically, you are telling me that I can play Nuclear Throne, but have Fish's dash on every character. You cannot pick up coins. Okay. These frogs are rude! Okay, this guy's shooting at me. He be shooting. He do be shooting, though. Cannot pick up coins? That's a rude. Dude, I'm, I'm excited for Tom Atomic Crops full release. I haven't played it since the actual early access launch. So I haven't played any of the new stuff with like the cats and everything like that either. And I know this is not, uh, this is not a... Uh, Atomic Crops video, but like... Come on. You can tell me I can't be hyped for another game that I'm gonna be doing... Potentially multiple videos on? I'm stoked for it. I cannot wait for it. It was like... Such a unique, charming aspect of the game. Oh no, we have the shuriken! We lost permanent HP. We have one health. Come on, dude. Pay out. Pay out with the good stuff. Ooh. Explosion range by 25% less. Doubles the amount of coins you currently have or gives you ton if you have uh, 10 if you have none. If you have one HP less, double damage. That's the best item for us. Screw everything else. Ice gun. Double pistol. Let's go double pistol, baby. Double pistol, double damage. We just platypus, boy. Let's go. You think you can contend with me? You think you can contend with me? I am the champion. Oh, you're still alive. I am the champion. I am the god. Bring it on, Newt. I think Newt... Why does Newt have three skulls next to his name and the other boy didn't? So we're actually going to see what our damage increase here does. Wow, okay. That's a significant amount of damage. That is a significant amount of damage. Holy crapsicles. Teleporter. Ability to teleport yourself onto the hatch. Just give me the key. Increased chance to loot more artifacts. You cannot pick up keys. The artifact of chaos. 
Or Orb of Chaos. Orb of Spikes. Teleport yourself onto the hatch? That just seems... Why? I don't... <laughs> Maybe a panic button? Maybe a panic button, I guess, but like... You can give me a gov freaking double damage, boy. You knew you messed up. Oh, and then in combination with the lessened explosion radius? Oh my god, we're, we're, we're cruising. Looking for secret rooms, I can't see a secret room, but I'm gonna go in here real quick and just swap out this painful orb thing, because this orb thing just makes it so I can't grab keys. That seems bad. Give me something good. Two items. Needle. Ability to deal one damage when touching enemies. I don't want to touch things because I have one health. When you pick up an artifact, it can drop loot. Extremely cool. Railgun. Nail gun. Ooh. I mean, they both sound cool, and I don't think you can swap items in this. That. That. That with the fuck it. That with the double damage. Are you cheesing my waffles right now? Are you seeing this nonsense? Get out of here, ghost. Patrick Swayze, go away. Oh, Jesus. Okay, go away. I want to read what this thing does. Minus one max HP, minus HP, unless it's your last HP. So that's... That's like... Partial Pog Champ. It's like 20% Pog Champ. The ghost kills other stuff. The ghost kills other stuff. What's this thing? Surprise when an enemy is killed by your shot, a bomb is thrown at you? <laughs> what? All right. I guess I can't be mad at that. Oh, jeez, it's okay. All right, I mean, it's like that thing, like, I just killed like 18 enemies, but that one bomb was like Tony Hawk. Bam! This is actually really fun. I, I, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. I don't know if it's up to like risk a rain status of like, I'm going to be addicted to it helplessly and playing 80 hours a week. Or if it's just going to be a cute game that I come back to a couple times on stream. But this, this is... I'm gonna put time into this. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna put time into this. This is actually like that that run. Seeing the uni seeing how they did the curse for positive aspect of it, it mixes it up. And then obviously like the one weapon carry, it, it pretty much is nuclear throne simplified, but then flipped because you have those power-ups. Where in nuclear throne, you don't have power-ups, you have character abilities. And that's one of the main reasons why nuclear throne, to me, this is a personal opinion, just stands out above a lot of the other roguelites is because it forces you to play well because you can't just get lucky with item drops. This one you can get lucky with item drops, but you still gotta play well because you only have one gun. You can get rid of your dash, which like you can't get rid of your dodge roll in, in, in Gungeon. You always have that ability to say of safety, but no, Blazing Beaks, everybody. App Lava Games, dude. This this is this is extremely cool. It's half off right now. I'm gonna actually upload this video earlier than I would have just so you guys can get a chance to sneak it uh, while it's on sale. It's going to be on sale until March, or no, uh, May 18th, a week from today for seven more days from the recording of this video, so probably if I put it up tomorrow, six more days until the sale is over. It's half off, $7.50. Go pick it up. It's extremely fun. I'm going to play more of it. Appreciate you guys hanging out. If, you, if you've been here for the whole video, you might as well like the video you might as well subscribe to the channel and you might as well go over to my twitch.tv slash pentahybrid twitch channel to hang out on some of my live streams and follow the channel there where we do other indie grab bag stuff as well as other content like tarkov pokemon random jrpgs so we just play all kinds of stuff but thank you for watching and until the next video i'll catch you later